does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need man as he is is bound to kill killing is necessarily associated with the human form that's how we are and that's why the saints loathed the human form they didn't say that it's a great joy to be born as a human body they said please we do not want to come back again as a human body we want to be liberated because to be human is to be violent now that's a fine thing that you must understand to be lion does not mean that you are violent to be a rat is not necessarily to be violent in fact the word violence do not apply to the lion or to the rat they apply only to the human being the lion kills all his life but he cannot be called violent he cannot be called non violent either he is just doing what his physical conditioning compels him to do he has no option man has the option to kill and to not to kill man has the option to choose what he wants to eat and therefore only man can be violent or non violent the most fearsome carnivore is not violent at all the mosquito is not violent even if it survives only on your blood but if you can avoid killing the mosquito and you still kill it then you are violent it's a strange thing the rules are different the rule that applies to mosquito does not apply to you because the mosquito owing to its form does not have a consciousness crying for liberation no mosquito is crying for liberation no rat neither the elephant nor the lion are eager to get liberated it's only the human form that seeks liberation it is the human form that has a choosing consciousness the word consciousness itself implies choice if you are someone who can eat even a human being it only proves that your circle of empathy is very very small you can eat even a human being even human beings lie outside your circle of empathy so your circle is very small and if your circle is small what does it prove about the intensity of your self love it has very little intensity therefore the circle that it created was very small if you can eat a human being it means you do not love yourself at all if you do not love yourself at all there is no possibility of liberation you are a very violent person if there is no possibility of liberation at all for you then you are a very violent person that is violence to make a choice that will not lead to liberation that is violence 
kill the animal and in some way the animal is liberated of its misery at least in the physical sense but you having eaten the animal will now live to suffer the effects of eating that animal that is your punishment you will survive to see tomorrow that is your punishment the animal is gone but you will not be allowed to go you have just had flesh the flesh will keep you alive and you will stay put there will be a tomorrow for you and it will be a very dark tomorrow that will be your punishment you care only for those people you feel identified with and then there is the one whose ego takes a broadening this person this consciousness identifies with a bigger set of people and then there is the one who has an even more accommodative inclusive identity his circle is really large it includes not only human beings but animals as well obviously the wider your ego identity is the greater is the possibility of liberation for you now you'll ask why did i begin my response by saying that to be born human is a curse because some kind of violence becomes unavoidable when you are a human being that is why the saints have said that final liberation will come only after you are physically gone as well 